Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss about how you can get to Google Calendar. Now there are two options that I am going to talk about today. So if that is something that you are searching for, this is the video that you should be actually looking out for. Now as always, please consider subscribing to my channel, give me a thumbs up and also please share this video with all your friends and families because Google Calendar is a very important thing right now in our lives after the COVID situation. So everybody needs to know how to schedule, you know, meetings and, you know, those kind of things. Okay. And also please do not forget to comment below and let me know which option one or two you actually selected for scheduling your meetings. So this is Sonet from Techitrical. So just see that icon on the top right hand side. Yes, that's the calendar icon. So and you can go ahead and schedule your next meeting through it. So where did I get it? It's in Gmail. So if you go to your Gmail inbox, you would find that icon. So now I click that and I put a name for the session. I put a time. I choose a specific date when I would want to schedule that and I can make it an all day session or I can choose a specific time, a time zone and then I go ahead and add some guests to that particular meeting. So I choose one of my email IDs and then I would want to join through Google Meet or not and then I click on send. Once I click on send, what happens is Google will then send the invite to all those recipients whom you added just now. And if you click send, that's how it looks in your schedule. So if I double click that, these are the information that you would see in your meeting and you can join through Google Meet in case you are not aware you can go ahead and check one of my videos where I show you how to schedule a Google Meet. Now the second way of doing it is if you find those dots there if you click that you would get lots of different Google apps. So if you go right at the bottom maybe that's residing there your calendar if you drag it and you can drag it anywhere you want in that space. So I move it into my first row I click that and then the calendar opens up like usual and you can go ahead and add your recipients there and choose to join through Google Meet. Of course, you have other actions also like print, delete, duplicate and lots of other things like change owner. And if you save it, there you go, it's saved. And this is the meeting that gets sent to that person. So if you open up that meeting, you would get that session. So there are two videos that are popping up right now on your screen. So please make sure that you watch those which are related to Google Meet, which will definitely help you in understanding how Google Meet is scheduled. And also if you have facing some common challenges, you would get to know. So till the next time, bye-bye.